Hello, my name is Katarina, and today I will be watching season one, episode three of Press Gang, and the episode's title is One Easy Lesson. It is not my first time viewing, but it has been maybe a decade or so since I last saw the episode. Let's get started. The toilet, the staff toilet. Mr. Sullivan, you said you'd have that article for the paper today. Have you got it? Good morning, Linda. Good morning, sir. Have you got it? This hey, is sir, really badgering him here. The Junior Gazette. I'm not just a pupil now. I'm an editor, and I am kind of busy. And I'm not just teaching you English and writing new articles. I am assistant head of this school, and I also am kind of busy. Then how can you spend eight minutes in the toilet? <laughs> Actually, Linda, I was not aware that I was being timed. I just happened to notice. That's two minutes over your average. Now, oh, God, I can't time, imagine anyone, anything worse than someone standing outside my toilet, timing how long I take in here. Well, I can't imagine worse things, but that's up there. They're really very good at asking up the second oh, the sun goes down. I get my there. English essay in for Thursday, and you get your article in for tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's a basis for negotiation. How about if I got my article in for Thursday, and you got your English essay in for tomorrow? And Bob Sir? Spears directed. I think he did quite a lot of them. And what is Colin up to? Oh, it's that episode. I don't see the point. Linda, it'd be great. We could fit it on page four and do it weekly. Oh, come on, why not? You want reasons? You know, this could give the paper a bit of class. An acne advice column with all the best creams and stuff. I was going to call it the face space. How about the zip bit? Shut it, Kenny. For blackheads revisited. Kenny! Or pass bus. Oh, spot on. You know Mr Knowles, the new English teacher? Now, come on. Now, now, come on, children. I mean, you really must shut up. Don't say another word. And if you do, I'm not going to tell you a thing about the semicolon. Hmm? This is quite fact, mean for Kenny. I don't find that funny at all. Oh, come on, Sarah. I was only trying to cheer you up. All right, all right. Any advance on seven things you need in newspapers? Hey, go on. What's in those? I had a nap spike, and just for a moment, just for a tiny second. Yeah, what are you talking about? It was a bargain. I mean, a real bargain. They were just, like, sitting there, cut price. Like, they were beckoning to me. Yeah, what was beckoning you? Colin! Oh, she finds out I'm dead. You think it's true? You really can't take it with you? <laughs> Hand me the knife. Sure. Don't you think you ought to consider that unarmed? Ping pong balls. How many of them? Well, they make them in two halves, you see, and they always have a few defective ones left over. How many? Hundred thousand. <laughs> Are you telling me, Colin, that you have spent gazette money on a hundred thousand defective half ping pong balls? It was a bargain. Look, we're getting in on the ground floor here. It's an investment. It's a whole new concept in balls. Colin, the ping pong balls are yours, and the Farndale money is the gazettes, and I expect it back. Clear? Spike, have you ever had a sort of a ring in your ears like a giant tilt? No. Wasn't I gotta love what Colin does. It was a moment of pure genius and inspiration. <laughs> what are you talking about? I can sell them. I can sell the little suckers. They'll be the biggest craze since my last one. What are you going to sell? Half I love his enthusiasm. What else is a ping? Okay, news team, story yeah. conference. And Tiddler is watching everyone. week's news completely. What are you doing? It's all right. What? It's all right. It's okay. What was it? She just reassures him he's fine. The junior, junior gazette. Now, come on! Look, how do you expect me to be able to teach you if you won't settle down and work? Now, please, 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 uh, it is going to have to be quiet. 
I mean, I work at a school, so this is immensely related. <laughs> are not nice school desks. I mean, I like the blue, but they're just so boring. Mr. Knowles? I don't think I quite caught the homework. It's all right, you can call me Simon now. They've all gone. Forget about the homework, too. Eh? We'll pick it up next time. Right. Simon, uh, could I give you a word of advice? The thing is, if the class see that you believe you can control it, they'll believe it too. But if they see just a moment of uncertainty... I feel you like that advice it. only works if you're already confident. Is, uh, don't try to fight it. For instance, a personal stereo for the silence lover. The world's first, Sony Walcott. Not now, Colin. Sarah, I'm trying to let you in on the ground floor here. Not now! Um, you two got classes to go to? Ah, uh, Mr. Sullivan, do you ever have a problem finding the ideal little gift for your favourite aunt? Not now, Colin. Because I'm willing to show you on an entirely trial basis. Teacher features. Don't we get enough of them during the day? If we knew more about them, what they like out of school, just be your basic interview, a sort of profile. What's Miss Martin, maths teacher, really like? Mr. In the Lowell's square box. English teacher. That's what this is about, isn't it? Uh, what do you mean? He's your cousin, isn't he? Kenny told me how upset you were when he was making fun of him. Also, we checked it out. I didn't want anyone to know that. I hear he's not going down too well with his classes. Yeah, well, if people just took the trouble to get to know him a bit better... And you're going to take the trouble for them, is that it? Well, do I get to do it? OK, Sarah. So, bye. Thank you, Linda. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Linda yes, can be quite sweet when she's in that mood. Kenny, where's the phone at the moment? Plan. Yeah. <laughs> and little thing. Oh, what are they called? Ladybirds. Linda. Nickel Pigor in Swedish, by the way. Have you seen anyone talk to a plant before? And oh, yeah. key uh, maiden. Look, could you tell your sister to stop using my typewriter, please? Sister? Faz, I haven't got a sister. Oh, well, maybe you should tell her that, eh? You must have been born while I was out. Well, I'm always telling Mum you don't pay any attention to me. Who are you? Tony Tilsley, but my friends call me Tiddler because I'm small and popular. Then why aren't you away playing with them? Because your newspaper said it's for children. There's nothing in it for anyone under 12. So I thought maybe you need a junior section. And I thought, seeing as I'm top in English in the lower school, I'd be the right person to write it. And I was thinking it would be the right kind of experience. Because when you're too old to be in this kind of paper, I'll be about the right age to be the new editor, won't I? You did ask. <laughs> She's really got it all moment. figured out. Colin, I finished your ping pong poster. I did get the name right, didn't I? No. I can't think of a time when I didn't want to be a teacher. Ever since I can remember, that's been, that's been it. That's been the Holy Grail, if you like. You see, when you're teaching, you, you're not just doing a job. I mean, the classroom isn't just a place where you work. It's, it's a place where you, where you're nurturing the future on the best of the past. Tell me, uh, what's the private? That's a bit pretentious, but I understand. Well, have you got any hobbies or anything? Well, uh, yes, but I don't think you'd be interested. No, I would really. Well, it's a bit unusual. Well, the more unusual, the better. Well, as a matter of fact, I collect butterflies. That's not going to make him look cool. You're going to make this guy popular because he poisons insects. Look, I'm a writer. I'll make it sound better. Good luck, Joe. Well, what did he say? He said it was not bad. Hey, that's good. It is. Well, it's not bad. Oh, I like that. I like that transition. Linda, will you stop doing that? I'm asking, what do you think? Of what? Of the paper, the new edition. Oh, that. Well, butterflies. Not bad, isn't it? 
not bad. I'm not just saying our people are losing it. I'm saying two thirds of the world's surface is not quite plastic. Lepidoptera <laughs> is the correct name for it. It's the study of winged insects. Now, when Graham and Roy saw the article in the Junior Gazette, they very nicely asked me if I'd bring along some of my specimens. Oh. Um, so I've brought a selection here. Everyone now, you may king. want to pass these back, but um, do please be careful with them because some of them are rather oh. valuable. Wow, look at the wings on that. Yes, just just be careful with them. Does I it wouldn't say my experience with bringing no, no, come expensive on, things hey, to sir, school is that kids like do Let's understand the concept of yeah, yes, I'll don't I'll break I'll this. So I have been able to like oh, to break my violin and things. Okay. Because they Not do understand. Only was part of his collection no. destroyed. <laughs> he has also acquired the unenviable, though not overly imaginative, name of Butterfly. Rather the last straw for him. I don't know what it is you want us to do about it. But you do know what it is I wish you hadn't done. As a guide to the what future. Bing. We'll every stop time there's a thing. Just, of course. As for Mr. Knowles. Well, not Mr. every Knowles time. He's sometimes. a very dedicated and idealistic young man. If he can just conquer his problem with classroom discipline, I believe he has the makings of a very fine teacher. But somehow I don't think that's going to happen now. You have managed to make an already unhappy situation worse. I don't think I'll face lunch now. You'll get over it. Oh, it's kind of mean of, of him to just put that on them to let Why? them sort it out. Go to speak to him. What for? To say sorry I helped? But I don't know. Linda, I've been looking everywhere for you. What did you think of my junior page? Got in, didn't it? Yeah, but what did you think of it? Not bad. Just passing on. Well, I apologise, Sarah. You're only trying to help. I think now I can see the truth. I'm not going to make it as a teacher. But that's what you've always wanted. That's what you've always wanted to be. And as the wise man said, what you want and what you get. You can't just give up. Trying to understand, Aww. Sarah. I've been making a complete fool of myself. Oh wow, Daydream I'm getting emotional. <laughs> what I could do. This is hitting too close to her. Yeah, well then, do you know something, Mr. Knowles? Simon. No, Mr. Knowles. I think I preferred you when you were a fool. Although, it's not as bad as this usually. <laughs> but I've had my share of road kids, and I've also had my share of wonderful kids. Could you give me the gazette on the phone? Sometimes. Sometimes. They're the same it's as kids. private call or school business? Oh, school business. Very definitely school business. Oh, that's quite he nice. Found you. And I'm very glad he did. After the supermarket fiasco, you can't afford another mess like this. Look, it wasn't my idea. Your editor. The only ideas you don't get credit for are the good ones. Yeah, I know. Well, here's something you don't know. Thanks partly to you, your headmaster now has grave doubts about Simon Knowles' future in Norbridge High. So, he's paying his class a surprise visit this Thursday to check on him. And somehow, I don't think Mr. Knowles is in a fit state to make a good impression, do you? But what can I do about it? Something. Something? Something. Something. Hmm. Oops, there's the phone line. <laughs> the electric clothesline. <laughs> Linda, Sarah, we've, we've got, got to do something. something. Stage three. I don't want to know how you do it, but you get everyone on this list to behave. Oh, you leave it to the experts. Intimidating. Robbins, <laughs> three C. Raymond Smith, three C. Eric Ashley, three C. When you get Mr. Knowles for English tomorrow, yeah. on Thursday, you're gonna behave. Like oh, an angel, a but you're gonna make it look like you're being British a naughty little boy, a bad little girl. Third class, because that's not something. like a regular third class. Do it way. or else. Or watch it, or you'll be going home in buckets. <laughs> I'm guessing about 12. I don't want to do it like this. The headmaster's going to appear about halfway through. This way he's going to like what he sees. Hey, you two. Who 
nothing to do with you. You meant to be a noses class. But didn't I to tell you yesterday? Tell before? me what? Three C don't get nose. We swapped over with three B. Three B? The timetable must have been out of date. Spike, you've leaned on the wrong class. <laughs> Timetables being out of date is something I'm very familiar <laughs> with as a librarian. Uh, nothing. The yeah, planner ske plan schedule and then it's Absolutely like, oh no, nothing. we don't have that class then. But everyone is just Yes, fine. sir? Mr. Knowles, um, can I see you outside? Because it's all moment? about confidence. You just uh, carry on working as you are. It's not usually like that, though. I mean, the classes don't tend to switch that suddenly, even How's if you're going? confident. It's almost like being a real teacher. But it is I mean, entirely it's possible to switch. Them. Them to do don't get me wrong. Don't. Of course, this time I know before I say anything that they're bound to listen. I mean, they're doing everything you tell them to. Of course. And you know they're going to do it before you even tell them. Well, naturally, that's the way you arranged it, isn't it? Mr. Knowles, I think there's something you should know. Maybe not 12. Right, well, I hope you all found that a useful lesson. Somewhere between 10 and 12, I would I say. I, did. I mean, can you believe it? Just because he thought he could control the class, suddenly he could. Yeah, but will it stay that way? Well, he's done it once. I don't know. He's got a chance. He's got a much better chance. Anyway, I'm going home. See you. All right. See you tomorrow. Kids can be very different depending on like what day it is. Uh, if it's right before or right after a holiday. Um, what classes they've had before. What you're doing in the class, obviously. Um, if they have eaten, uh, which is something. I notice I work in a multicultural school, so uh, Ramadan can really affect, especially younger children. Um, so many things. What else? Well, obviously, problems uh, at home, problems in the schoolyard, all those sorts of things can affect it. Hello, Junior Gazette. Hello, Linda. Oh, hello, Mr. Kerr. And they have the, to the telephone in the toilet. What's wrong with the first paragraph? Well, it's a bit flabby, isn't it, sir? It is not flabby. You don't have to be defensive, sir. I'm not being defensive. Uh, I am never she's defensive. She's not afraid of criticising him. I just don't <laughs> think we can afford to be that flabby in the first paragraph. What with the second paragraph? <laughs> What's wrong with the second paragraph? Well, it's a bit flabby, isn't it, sir? That's not flab, Linda. That's style. Is there any part of the article you did like? Oh, I liked it. It was just a bit too much style. Okay, so that was episode three. And I'm sorry if I talked too much about school. <laughs> it's obviously a topic that's dear to my heart. But uh, yeah, I think this episode, I know Stephen Moffat was also a school teacher and... Uh, it is sort of evident that it's kind of more about his feelings about that than, uh, you know, you don't really learn much about the regular characters, I suppose Sarah, a bit. Um, but, but it's still a nice episode. It's not bad. And the next episode is Deadline. And I don't really remember that one very well, I can't say. Um... So we'll have to see next time what happens. And in case you're wondering what Kenzie is doing today, she, you may have seen her tail earlier. She is lying right here next to me. Say hi, Kenzie. Hi. And bye.